I do have a target for this season of, of hitting $25,000 in rentals, and I think, I, I, I think I'll be able to do it. So this is my brand new 2022 Winnebrago Revel that's not as new anymore. So far, four people have paid me on outdoorsy $7,200 to rent my Revel to go on trips. prep for my next renter that I have coming tomorrow. Right. The revel is filthy after spending a week in Wyoming trout fishing. What I, what I can tell you is this video I'm not going to break down like operating costs or anything like that. Um, if that's interest to you then uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video just let me know in the comments. My, my first step with any rental is, um, is cleaning it and uh, that's one thing I've cleaned this thing a lot. I've been charging renters $350 a night uh, for renting the Rebel. And so far I've had four renters and it's all been just a, a fun experience for me and for them. So my renters have taken the Rebel to uh, New Mexico, Moab, Arkansas, and Wyoming. For most of them rent it for multiple days for, you know, a week, 10 days. with the soap. The renters have also been mostly older couples. Um, couples who are thinking about buying a Revel for themselves, who want to try it out, try out van life, who you know, want a different kind of adventure. The bookings have been pretty regular for the unit. My May was very, very busy. What I find is that since my renters are older couples, you know, usually uh, 55 and up, they, they really want to know the systems and they really want to take care of the Rebel. And I, I, I this is just assuming, I assume that, you know, some other vehicles like Class C's where it's just tons of families, it might be different. It could be the price that I'm charging for the Rebel. And $350 a night when you're paying for a week or a week and a half, it's, it can add up. I've had one thing damaged and it was a scratch along the top of the roof um, where a renter must have hit a tree or something. I like letting the soap, the foam, do the heavy lifting. Lift up all the bugs and it really helps get all that, that dirt and stuff off. One minute left. Uh, washing is done. I have played with my pricing. I did set my pricing higher to $400 a night for um, the peak holidays, like July 4th, stuff like that. And I have done one sale where I, you know, I didn't have any rentals toward the end of April. So I, I put the last week on sale for $275 and I actually got one renter. We're at the post office. One of my renters left their book and their sunglasses, so I'm going to send it to him. There are three things I tell all my renters. The th first, number one, is that it's diesel. And I'm surprised at how many people aren't experienced with diesel. But it is, it is weird, I guess, if you've never had a diesel car to go to a special pump and get your diesel. The second is height. You know, the van is 11 feet. It's actually 10 and a half feet tall, but I tell them it's 11 feet tall. And so no Starbucks drive throughs no, no going to the bank, just park it and get out. The thing I, I tell them in the winter is obviously that things freeze and to keep that heater on for the water to stop freezing. 
And then in the summer, the third thing is all about dumping. How to use the cassette, how to dump your tank. Um, three of my four renters have actually paid me to dump, so I have a dump fee if they want me to do it. And three of the four have done it, um, you know, have had me do it, which is fine, no problem. So now it's just I gotta wipe down the inside, clean the bathroom, and um, sweep out the floor. So now it's time for the inside. I've gotta wipe everything down, clean the bathroom. Um, I've done the laundry and uh, just stock it ready to go. It's important to uh, um, have a fully complete van. And what I mean by that is I have all the pots, pans, cutlery, um, you know, plates, cups, all here, um, even uh, koozies for beer. So I think it's it's important that the, the renter can just literally just put some beer in there and some food and roll. Um, I put uh, some Colorado, some local beer in there for the people to enjoy, um, just as a, a you know a nice gesture. It is work, but if you're one of those people that like to meet other people, and especially if they're, you know, these people are, the renters are just so excited to be part of this and have a, a chance to try out a van like this. So for one of those people, I definitely recommend it. I'm lucky enough that I work from home and have some time to dedicate it to, dedicate to this. Um, because, so I'm cleaning, getting it ready, it's about an hour and a half. My handoffs to orientate the renters on the unit is about 45 minutes so there's some time involved i hope you liked the video if you have any questions about uh, my experience with outdoorsy or if you want to see that video on more going into the cost breakdown of actual you know what my my uh, operating costs are for this thing let me know in the comments uh and thanks for watching it's all clean now i gotta do the finishing touch Ready to rent.